Good morning, YouTube. Today is a big patch which involves changes in the flea market, in the economy, and we're gonna go through it. I will read the patch notes, explain the things which might be confusing, and we're gonna see how the prices already have changed. So, BSG rolled this patch out an hour ago, and uh, as an experiment, they removed the found and raid mechanic requirement for placing offers on the flea market for PvE and PvE modes. They will closely monitor player feedback during the event and make additional balancing adjustments if necessary. So what does this mean? Basically, before, you needed to survive in order to sell items. So let's say I have um, two stems of uh, mule, okay? One is found in raid, another one is not. And to get a found in raid mule, you need to survive on the map, get a decent amount of XP and successfully extract. If I die with the mule in my injector's case, it is not going to be found in raid. So before, all the things that you sell on the flea market had to be found in raid. Right now, even if you die with a stim or a ledex in your secured container, you can still sell it on the flea. And as we can see, prices are already dropping. Mule used to be 150k yesterday, right now it's about 89k. Uh, well, we also need to think that yesterday I was um, recording the prices at the prime time, so it might go a little bit up or a little bit down, depending on the supply demand. So if there is more people playing and more people are uh, putting offers on the, of the mule on the stem, the price is going to go down. So we're going to see what happens. And um, I would say the prices for all the items uh, should go down. For example, I have a GPU in my... Um, case gpu prices should be down as well and they are yesterday i was selling gpus for 530,000 rubles and right now people sell it for 344 so if i were you and you're building a bitcoin farm or something i would wait a little bit more to see if the prices drop to around 300 320k and then buy all the gpus you need also, prices for labs keycards should go down as well so if we check keycards on the flea let's go for yellow Yellow is what? 8 mil. I used to sell it for... I sold yellow for 15 million a week ago, I believe. Right now it's at 8, so price is already going down. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So the real question is, can you sell armor? Can you sell helmets? Um, Alright, usual helmets, you can sell them. What about the armor, though? Can you sell the plates? No, plates are not sellable. So... Even if you win in PvP fights, you cannot sell people's armors. Alright. But, if you kill somebody and they have, let's say, AS Val and a bunch of 30 rounders, even though those 30 rounders will not be found in raid, you can still sell them on the flea. Let me let me just double check. I mean, it should work, but... Alright, so... Filter, add offer... Yes, even if, it, even if it's not found in raid, you can still sell it. So, this goes for a bunch of mags, this probably goes for suppressors, sights... Um, and maybe the guns themselves, I would assume. Um, yeah. Spear is dropping down in price. You can probably sell it. Well, maybe not because of the bullets. Yeah, let's see if I take the mag out and the bullet. Yes, yes. So basically you can sell the guns on the flea, which is a big thing. Because you can make big money from PvP now. Alright, let's go back to the patch notes. Adjusted loot balancing on all occasions except sheets of Tarkov. Um, in Russian version, in, in Russian version of uh, the patch note, it says uh, boosted, like boosted, increase the loot on all occasions except sheets of Tarkov. Increase the loot on all occasions. Um, yeah, increase the chance of rare loot spawning in locked rooms, aka marked rooms, and the rest of the rooms. Adjusted inertia strength, based stamina capacity, and overweight limit. Everything is increased by 20 or 15%, which is good. You can run further, you can run faster, especially if you don't have your skills maxed out. This is an amazing change. Successfully executed gym. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Successfully executed gym cuties. Bro, it, it becomes even worse. Successfully executed gym cuties. Um, to give more skill points. All right, I guess... Um, I guess right now if you go to gym, you get more skill points if you train hard in it. Because before you used to get like, what, 0 0.2 point per um, per set. Now you get like, what, now, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. I've never, I've never used gym this wipe, so I don't know. I already have my skills, my strength maxed out, but good change. Good change. 
increase the number of AI scabs spawning on interchange. Why has this been uh, why has this been done? I have no idea, but okay, more AI scabs on interchange. I personally had no issues with scabs on interchange. There was always plenty of them for me. Like there was enough of them. I don't really know if it's needed, but let's see how it works out. Adjusted the number of slots on the flea market for all reputation levels. Um all right, so my reputation is 64 and now I have seven slots. So I got one, maybe two. I think I got two additional slots, I believe. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe uh, I got two additional slots, same as the unheard edition people got because I am an EOD. I didn't buy the unheard edition. I'm just an EOD peasant. All right. Added 9 by 19 mm PBP GZ for sale at proper level 4. This is good. This is the best 9 mm bullet uh, that you can buy now. And um, it is barely... It has barely any competition with better bullets like 308. So I don't really know what was the reason for it to not be on the traders. Because even though that's the best bullet for 9 mm, it is still like one of the worst bullets in the game. So... Yeah, good thing. I might play with I might play with Vector 9 mil using those bad boys. Uh, good thing. I think this bullet should be on the traders all the time. Uh, increase the selling value of PMC dog tags. All right, I should have a couple of dog tags in my stash. I have level 22, level 61, and let's find something something in the middle. Uh, level 36, let's say. So level 22 sells for 8k, 36 for 13, and 61 for 23k. I'll be honest, I don't remember what the prices were, but it feels like they are more or less the same, so we can kind of neglect this change, as it's not as big, and the price is more or less the same, but good. Good change uh, either way. As a part of the in-game event, the requirement of Terra Labs access key card to enter labs has been removed all right so if we play labs now we don't really need any key cards right we can just go to labs yeah and um, all right i expect to see hatchet runners i expect to see pistolings hunting the black room for stims hunting the black room for ledixes ledix already dropped down in price it used to be 1.2 1.1 million yesterday and now it's already at 900, 890k. I think it's gonna drop even further. Time to buy Ledexus so I can afford another fake items case. I always run out of space. That's my issue. Um, yeah, so I'll buy I'll buy Ledexus and uh, get more money cases. So if you're watching this video right now and you want to sell things, I would say right now is a good time to sell your non-found in raid stims. Maybe if you have a couple of GPUs or VPXs or whatever laying around that are not found in raid. You can sell it for like 410k because I think the price might drop even further. Once again, I'm, uh, it's a gamble. It might not, but most likely it will. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the bullets because that's my Discord, by the way. Sorry. Because um, what about the bullets that you can buy on the flea? For example, flea chats. What happened with flea chats? Uh, a bit tough to say. Patch just rolled out, but it should go down in price as more people will be able to sell it. Um, so yeah, I wonder if BSG is going to remove uh, the restrictions for the, from the flea market so I can sell the best bullets or buy them, for example, M995. Like, if you have M995 and you need money, you can sell it for like 5,000, 10,000 rubles per bullet and people like me with uh, infinite, infinite uh, monies in our wallets will buy those bullets and use them. So I'd love to see that too. But either way, good event. Well done, BSG. If you have any questions, uh, ask me on Twitch. I'll probably be streaming... Uh, for the next uh, four or five hours and give this video a thumbs up. I love to keep uh, you updated and um, Yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching the video. Enjoy the event Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Take care ladies and gents